We've seen grim records set so far this year. I think about 176, if I can keep up with it today, nearing 200 victims already. There's been a murder nearly every day, and nothing appears to be improving. The issue grabbed a lot of attention, though, this week at Israel's prestigious Ophir Awards, or the local Academy Awards as actress. Samara Kupti, who was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role in a film called The Future, arrived at the ceremony wearing a white gown you see here featuring bullet holes and blood dripping down the front. So obviously a major attention getter there. And we have the honor of being joined right now by actress Samara Kuti from the future and nominated again for Best Supporting Actress this year. So thanks for joining us. Uh, obviously, you know, aside from film accolades and everything else, I want to, you know, get to the heart of this. Tell us about the idea you had for this, the impact that it made at the event. I mean, I think it's safe to say definitely everyone noticed, right? I imagine all eyes were on you that night in, in terms of this. Tell us where it came from, the idea for this. Uh, well, hello. Um, I think the idea came from the, the the deep feeling that I had on the, the moment they told me that I'm nominated for the Best Supporting Actor Actress. There was a very I had a very mixed feelings about about the thing. I was uh, I had a feeling of of happiness, but it was a very very small feeling between everything that I was uh, having on the same time. Uh, we have the feeling that we're living in a funeral for a really long time. We it's an endless funeral over and over again. This is something we face every day in, in, in the streets and in our daily life. So it's not something that you, it's not an idea that I had to think about. It's more that I was more aware of my instinct and heard my voice and my voice said, I have to say something about this pain. I have to bring it to to, to the front. And that was my way. So um, I, I thought of the idea of bringing the protest against the violence in the Arab society. And uh, that's how we came uh, first of all, we came with the idea of me going with Watfa Jabali, as you can see, uh, the mother of uh, uh, another victim, just one of the 177 victims uh, that we had that got also no justice. Uh, I was just talking to her like five minutes ago and she was telling me the story, more detailed story about her son's murder. And um, I heard a lot of these kind of stories and I felt that this is my um, duty to just bring this issue on the front uh, and, and talk about the real well, good, uh, good for you. First of all, obviously, so this, this made a splash there. I just want to say, I, I also read about you know her son. I believe he was 26, not involved right. in any kind of criminal activity, left a three-month-old baby behind. She's in charge of yeah. this, or running, not in charge, but she's part of this Mothers for Life movement, you know, that's powerful to see women stepping up this big. Yeah. Tell us about it. Is that is that a social movement that's gaining traction, an important one we should all be paying attention to? Please do. Yes, we need to give them more and more attention because there are women who are fighting for life. That's what they want. Their logo is women and mothers for life. They want life. And uh, all they have in their lives is is uh, is death because they didn't only lose uh, their children, which is huge and traumatic. They also lost the whole family went uh, apart when when they lost their, their because it, it doesn't end at this at the moment of murder. It's not only uh, you know um, uh, the, the son she lost. It's only it's also as you said the the, the granddaughter who has no father who's gonna get old and ask about her father and ask about the story about her father and for justice for her father and what kind of generations are we are we doing and are we raising uh, generations that are uh, that know about those stories since they are kids since they are babies and uh, what kind of, of expectations do we have from them um, so yeah this is a very important movement movement and i think the movement does not have um it has one very clear uh, appointment or, or, or goal to just stop the next murder. They cannot get their sons back, unfortunately, but they can stop the next mother from losing their son. And this is their shout out. And I felt that uh, the, the, the stage, if, we, if I had the stage and I won the prize, I think that Watfa deserves to talk and for the world to hear her speech much more, much more than my you know, uh, my speech. <laughs> Look, uh, you, you, you touched on this. If you can give us just, you know, a bit of a description about, about daily life, you know, in Israel's main Arab towns, I mean, the fear of gunfire, the, the, the crime, evident, the reality of that everywhere. Is this something you can't escape anymore in, in life in these towns? 
No, you can't. You, it's really, it sounds like uh, if someone would tell me that this is the reality of, of their life, I would say they're exaggerating. Uh, only if you live in, in Arab uh, uh, villages or, or cities and inside of the Palestinian society, you will see what this means. Uh, I'm now I'm now in Nazareth, in my parents' house, and uh, I'll tell you a little story that happened that a friend from Tel Aviv came to visit me in here, and it was a very cheerful night, and then we, we heard... Uh, Gun, gunshots and this is a very normal voice unfortunately i'm saying this wow. with a lot of pain yeah. but this is a normal voice for us and uh, so no one of us like gave attention to the voice and she freaked out and i told her this is this is a very uh, natural pascal for us unfortunately wow. so if you go out in these cities or villages you really don't know if you are coming back home so we are asking for the most basic right is security and maybe and and the second basic right or, or together justice yes so, those, so those, done about the, it i know that's a big piece lacking law, here. lawlessness right. uh, from the police and from the government is, uh, is, is is just gives you zero hope because those uh, murderers are not getting are not paying anything how no, would they very stop few if there very, is very, no... very few brought to justice very few solved i know this is a, a major issue in this. Uh, Samar Kupti, approachably yeah. out of time on this subject. Good on you for the bold display at the Ophir Awards this week, and uh, I hope we're not the only ones getting that story from you. Uh, thanks for joining us, though. Really good to have you on the program.